How did you find your soulmate and at what age? How did you find your soulmate and at what age? I am already 19 and never had a relationship, feel cursed. If soulmates do exist, they're not found, they're made. People meet, they get a good feeling, and they get to work building a relationship. The good place. Doesn't really matter, because after 30 years, my soulmate turned on my soul and tried to destroy it. Much like when an immune system malfunctions and starts to attack the body. You're not cursed you're just only 19. Focus on growing as an individual and your soulmate will find their way into your life. I-61 was 60 and turns out, it's been me all along, a perfect fit. I was 13. I saw him and I immediately knew this was my person. We didn't actually talk date until we were 17, married at 24. Now we're 43 and still happily married. He's my life partner, my best friend. I really can't imagine life without him. I'm 57. I never found her. Not even close. Love isn't guaranteed to everyone, folks. We've been poisoned by fairy tales and sappy love songs. I was 19 and he was 22. He showed me around on my first day working at a hotel. We were friends for a while and instantly got along quite well, talked about DD and nature. Over time we hung out as friends until both of us got drunk and I had no way to get home so stayed with him in October all that occurred was a couple deep convos and friendly hugs, wasn't until the January that we actually got together as a couple. Though there are other reasons why it took so long to get together as I was actually with someone else at the time and kind of had to come to terms with my feelings and then bit the bullet. I'm 21 and he's 24 now, never looked back, can't imagine ever being with anyone else. Sir, this is, I would be surprised if anyone on here has found a good partner, let alone a soulmate. Tinder haha. -ha. Both of us were mid-40s. I was 54, he was 53, the brother of a co-worker. Hang in there, it was worth the wait. You're 19, don't worry. If you had a relationship already by that age there's nothing wrong with that, but 99.99 .99 of the time those relationships fail. Soulmates aren't really a thing either. If there was just some random singular person who was your ideal partner in the world, most likely they'd live in a completely different country and speak a different language. I know people who didn't get married until their 50s, people who didn't have sex for the first time until their 30s. While I understand the desire for love and companionship, there's nothing that says it needs to be accomplished on a specific timeline. 26. Met online Tinder about 7 years ago, but we both went to the same grad school and literally ran into each other at school the day after our first date law. So maybe we could have met that way, who knows. We got married this year. You'll have many soulmates throughout your life. Some will be with you for your whole life. Some will drop off and that's okay. Met him at 13, married him at 53. 16 at school. After 13 years married, now 5Y after wedding going as strong as ever. It sounds crazy but I met my soulmate at 10, we met because of a mutual friend. At first I couldn't stand him because he would make fun of my terribly drawn adventure time art, but after a while we became really good friends. In 5th grade we started dating because of that mutual friend obviously not super serious because we were literally children but we stayed together all through middle school and high school. He's been there for me during some really tough times in my childhood and I've been there for his struggles too. We've been together for 8-9 in March years. And we have a beautiful daughter together. I met my wife 12 years ago at a party she was throwing and I couldn't speak because I thought she had the prettiest smile I ever saw and it just tripped me up. We ended up spending time on my birthday a year and a half later and stayed friends ever since. There's always been something about being around her that makes me feel nice. We didn't even date until later, and didn't get married until last year but spending time and being around her just makes me happy. I still look at her and am so amazed I have her in my life. If you can't tell, I absolutely adore this person. I really can't explain it but I think that is as close to a soulmate as there is. Forgot to add ages, I was 33. Emo, soulmates don't necessarily have to be romantic ones. I met him on DeviantArt in 2016. We were both around 16-17 years old and by two weeks in we were dating. I've never, ever in my life felt so sure of anything or anyone. 
We're still going strong seven years this January and now we're both in our 20s. We've grown up together, fought hardships together, and we're meeting this January too now that finances finally allow it. This is the man I'm going to marry, this is the one. I feel it, and I know it. You're only 19, don't be too hard on yourself. When the time is right, it'll come to you. Good luck. Thirty-one and it's been almost three years and it's better every day. We met in rehab law. But we've been sober since and both have full-time jobs and a house and are now expecting a baby in May. He treats me so well and is my partner in crime and best friend. He's going to be a the best dad. Assuming soulmates are real, I can't imagine they come strictly as love interests. I would think they're also in your family and your two closest friends. That being said, it's bullshit. You meet someone, you talk, you date, you fall in love. Love itself is just a chemical reaction in the brain. You literally get addicted to the scent, sight, sound, and touch of that person. The only soulmate you're going to really get is the one you create with years of devotion and experience. Good luck to you. 60M here. After a failed 20 years marriage and a couple failed long-term relationships, I met my soulmate at 55. She is everything I ever wanted in a partner and I'm looking forward to growing old with her. Don't lose faith. It was a strange story. I was 23 and she was 22. I actually met her in the psych ward when I checked myself in in 2016. I loved her more than anything and she changed my life and made me want to live again. I had never experienced love before I met her. Unfortunately we weren't able to be together for very long, but she was my soulmate and I miss her dearly. I hope that there is an afterlife so I'll get to see her again. I was in the same class as mine in high school but was too shy and introverted to even say hi. We both went out into the world, dated and even married and divorced before finding each other on OkCupid at the age of 27. We're married now going on 12 years with three kids. Don't give up, you're still young. I met her when she started dating my roommate, I was 24. We became friends, years later they broke up, we got drunk together and hooked up, then started dating. Just passed one year in and I don't know the future but I know I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Never saw it coming and it's one of the best things to ever happen to me. I was 18 and he was 22, we're both freshmen on collage. My husband of 10 years and I dated in high school when we were in our teens 199,495. We broke up and met up again for drinks after both leaving disastrous relationships in 2011 and the rest is history introduced to each other through a mutual friend 22 years old relax bro you'll figure it out i am so happy no one i met by the time i was 19 was my soulmate my cousin knew him first then when i came to town to visit her i saw him for the first time smiled at me never saw him again after that for another few months was added into a group from my cousin and he was also there never talked but then we started and things went up from there it's been a year now and we got married in July. 22F and 24 meters. Mine was my bestie in high school. We dated other people then but always had a connection and would leave our significant others to hang out all the time. We went our separate ways when we graduated but ended up together after a few years in the real world. Going on 15 years together now and happy to call her my wife. I don't think soulmates exist. You just meet someone that you really, really like, but I don't think that's the only right person for you in the world. If there truly was a person that is 100 perfect for you then Henry Cavill would be the soulmate of every human on earth. Because that man is making even the gods jealous. No such thing, no. A look across a crowded room their eyes met, and they just knew thing. You find that stuff in movies and books, but not in real life. As noted, soulmates are made, not born. I found my partner at age 57. I met my soulmate when I was 34, and recovering from a terribly abusive marriage. I was a single mom to a four-year-old, and my ex was in prison for abuse. 
I met him on Match.com. He was a 37-year-old, recently divorced and has two dogs. We were very honest in our profiles about who we were and what we were looking for. We've been together now for 10 years, married for 6, and have 3 kids he adopted my son, and we had 2 more kids together. We will be together until one of us dies provably me since I was just diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. He is an amazing father, husband, and partner and I'm some lucky to have found him. I thought mine was the guy the first met in college, spent close to 20 years together most of it married then realized, no. Then, in my early 40s found him. On Bumble, it takes time. Sound my soulmate at 25 on Tinder. It's been heaven. Don't lose hope. 28 years old, my brother's best man at his wedding. We met through the university we both go to. I met her when I was 20 and she was 23. We're now 22 and 25 and going strong. There's hope. She came into my life out of nowhere. When I was 19, I felt lonely and cursed too. You've got a lot of time though. Just keep working on yourself and trying to be proactive about it. A word of advice from my own experience though do whatever you can to avoid letting that insecurity and pain from the loneliness affect your relationship when you do find someone. I went through a period where I was constantly afraid my partner was going to leave me because I never wanted to suffer through the pain of loneliness again. This led to a lot of self-doubt and low self-esteem in the early part of my relationship. It wasn't a good look. Also, my relationship has lead to a lot of experiences where I had to and still have to develop maturity. They are not always happy all the time. A relationship is going to require compromise, self-discovery, inner strength, compassion for your partner and yourself, being attentive to your partner's needs, remembering things, being deliberate, considerate and thoughtful, etc. It's made me grow up more than any other experience in life, honestly. It's brought out both the best and the worst in me and I'm sure the same is true for many other people. Be aware of that before you get into one.